Good morning guys, it's a few days later now already and I'm in Dubrovnik right now. I've reached the town yesterday, I took a bus from Split, it took around like four and a half hours or something and yeah like the funny thing is you have to uh, you have to cross Bosnia in between but only for a very so short stretch like around maybe 15 to 20 minutes so you have to cross the border drive for 15 minutes and then go out of the border again back to Croatia and yeah like it's a bit a bit funny and also like on the bus ride you had like really beautiful views of the of the coastline and also like a lot of mountains actually which I did not expect yeah it was really nice actually the the whole ride so yeah and now I'm on the way to the old town the owner of my guest house told me actually that it's super busy because there are a lot of cruise ships uh, that stop here and especially in the morning it's super super crowded so let's see how it's going to be and yeah now I will explore the old town. I don't have much time here actually, I'm only here for two days so I need to rush a bit and so that I can see everything and yeah, so I would say let's go! Yeah, after exploring the old town, I went to the beach because the owner of my guest house told me that you have a very nice view from there. So I went there first and yeah, relaxed a bit on the beach, uh, had a dip in the water and stuff like that. And now I went up to a really, really nice viewpoint. Oh, it's so beautiful. You can see the entire old town and also the, the coastline. Yeah, now I will go up to the hill because apparently from there you have an even better view. Like you could take the cable car to go up there and go down but it costs, uh, for the return ticket, it costs like 35 euros, which is too much for me, definitely. And also because I have uh, a bit of time left, so I will walk up there and also walk down, I think, which is around like one way, I think it's like one hour walk, which is totally fine to me. And yeah, so I will go up there now and then see how it is. Yeah, the walk up is actually more exhausting than I thought. It's definitely the only recommended if you have a good fitness level because it's quite hard actually, mostly for the for the trail because it's a lot of stones and it's really hard to walk actually. So yeah, only if you have a good fitness level then, then try to walk up. Instead just take the cable car, it's easier. Yeah, I made it finally. Actually, it's not even one hour, it's maybe 45 minutes, but it's super steep and quite tough. So yeah, I made it and now I'm going to eat something. Super hungry now. Yeah, I rested for quite a while finally. I was really exhausted actually. And also I had lunch, which was also necessary. And yeah, as you could see, the view from up there is really, really amazing. So whenever you're in Dubrovnik, you should definitely visit here. Like either you walk up or you take the cable car or actually another option is to take an Uber. Apparently it's cheaper than taking the cable car from what I heard. And yeah, but you should definitely come here. It's, it's really worth a visit. 
yeah and i will make my way down again i will actually go down the same way that i came and then i still want to visit the old town a bit just walk around and see how it is in the afternoon because the owner of my guest house actually told me that in the afternoon there are much less tourists than in the morning because all the tourists from the cruise ships they are not there anymore and i just want to see how it is when it's a bit more like relaxed so yeah let's see how it is Good morning guys, it's another day in Dubrovnik and yeah, yesterday evening I was super super tired actually. I went to sleep quite early and uh, also slept quite long today and yeah, now I'm out again and yeah, it's my last day in Dubrovnik so let's try to explore as much as we can. So I will go to a few beaches first, uh, walk around a bit and apparently also there's a nice promenade, uh, the, the owner of my guest house told me. And yeah, and after that I think I will go a bit more to the old town and just have a stroll around and yeah, see what's there to do and nothing much. In the afternoon there's my bus leaving and yeah, that's why I have to be back then. So yeah, let's, let's go now. Yeah, I have reached in Lapad now. That's one of the suburbs of Dubrovnik. And here you can find quite a lot of beaches. That's why I came here. And here also you can find a lot of beautiful hotels. They are right next to the water and have like their own beach access and stuff like that. And also their own pools. It's really, really nice. So if you're on a higher budget, then you can definitely check out Lapad. Maybe you can stay here. It's definitely really nice. And here's also a very nice coastal walk so even if you don't stay here it's definitely worth to come because it will the coastal walk will bring you to all the different beaches and also a lot of places where you can swim so you should definitely check it out yeah and now i'm going to catch a bus back to the old town and then i will enjoy the last few hours in dubrovnik there Okay guys, yeah, I'm back in my room now. Actually, I rested already for around an hour or so. And now I have to go to the bus station. But let me show you my room real quick. It's actually, it's like, it's nothing fancy, but it's a cute little room. And also the location is good. It's not too far away from the beaches and also not too far away from the old town. And also very near to the, yeah, to the bus stops. So it was quite convenient, all in all. And yeah. Now I'm going to the main bus station where I have to, to take a bus because I'm leaving Croatia today. 
I will go to a new country and yeah, I'm excited actually to leave uh, the European Union finally and to see the new country. So yeah, let's see how it is and I will see you in the next video. Bye.